Við höfnin á Húsavík er margt spennandi að finna. Þar eru þetta margir afþreyingarmöguleikar, kvalaskoðun, siglingar, veitingastaðir og verslanir svo fátt eitt sér nefnt. En þar leynast líka fleiri gersemar. Í gömlu beituhúsi við höfnina reka hjónin Sam og Marina listamiðstöðuna Fjúk Art Center. Það er sannkölluð ævintýra veröld sem opnast þeim sem þangað fer inn. En þessi listrænu hjón sem koma frá Englandi og Fraklandi hafa með ólíkum hætti umbreytt ríminu á litríkan og frumlegan hátt. Við hittum sami við kaffibolla og hann sagði okkur frá starfseminni. So this was set up in, I think, like probably 2011 or 2012 by Arnhilde Parmadotti. Um, she originally was using this space for her studio as an architect. Um, and she had like a kind of tech lab space in the back as well with a laser cutter and a 3D printer. And around that time we moved to Iceland and she was really welcoming to us and invited us in. And we ended up collaborating, building the larger space. And so, yeah, and then we created like a public space in the second space and then a, a residency in the third space. Fjúk samanstendur af þremur ólíkum rýmum en hvert þeirra hefur sitt hlutverk. This is like the local studio space and here we have um, my wife and I and then in the summer we have freelancers usually come from abroad and um, sometimes Icelandic uh, freelancers who come to Husvik for the summer as well. And then in the back we have a workshop space um, with like a woodwork section, electronic section, and a costume making section, and so, so, such and such. And then in the middle space we have um, like a kind of muse museum stroke gallery and another gallery space and a cinema space and a shop. And then in the third space we have like a residency where we invite artists from abroad to stay here for a month. Sjálft sýningarrýmið eru margt mjög óvenjulegt. En hver er hugsunin á bak við það? I just really wanted to make something that was um, a lot more welcoming, uh, a lot warmer. A lot of the time I think in white cubes they can um, kind of continue this idea from the public that um, art spaces are uh, very kind of elitist and, and unwelcoming and we just yeah, really wanted to make something that people felt, that felt uh, they could attach themselves to or relate to a bit more. Eins og Sam segir er aðsettur fyrir listamenn stór hluti í starfsemi fjúk en þar dvelja fjórir til sjö listamenn hvern mánuð en þeir koma allstaðar að úr heiminum og þetta er fjölbreytur hópur. We have, um, yeah, uh, sound artists, painters, photographers, video artists. Um, we even just had uh, an artist who brought with her, her partner, who's a neuroscientist, working with visual attention. And now we've got uh, an architect and um, an electronics artist as well. Uh, you're from England and your wife's from France. Why Husavik? Why do you want to do this here? Um, we kind of settled in the north, uh, northeast by chance. We were on a residency in Hrise. And then we were traveling further northeast to Roiverhut because we wanted to see the cheap houses. And then um, we ended up getting stuck here because Marina's uh, obsessed with the sea and with marine life in Wales. So she started working at the Whale Museum and then we started this project. Sam segir að það sé ekki sjálfgefið að svona starfsemi gangi upp og að þau hjónin hafi lagt á sig þrótlausa vinnu til að koma Fjúk Art Center á þann stað sem það er í dag. Hann segir tungumála erfileika oft gera þeim erfitt fyrir. We put a lot of um, effort into, into making the space happen. And it's very hard for us as well because we don't speak Icelandic to have the visibility locally and to tell people about what we're doing. And... Um, yeah, just to maintain all the different parts of it and then try and either have enough, in enough income through the project, through grants or through the residency to maintain it. Or, of course, we have to like work on the side and do our own projects as freelancers and teaching to sustain ourselves. So to, so to juggle everything is really, really difficult. What about sort of the, the future prospects of the space? Um, at the moment, sadly, the town is saying that they want to sell... Um, the, the whole space, I think, by the, uh, the whole building, by the end of the year. Um, so, but we will see whether that happens. They are always changing their minds, it seems, and of course, yeah, the politi politics is a lot of bureaucracy and many different committees. And uh, I, I think there's just so many different um, dynamics within the town, and there's just obviously, yeah, right now, such a push for for the industry with Baki and for tourism, I think it's really kind of 
um, difficult for them to, to see that we exist in a way. I think we're kind of um, like a hidden element. But there's certainly there's some people who are incredibly positive and supportive, and I'm sure some people who are <laughs> not so supportive. Sam og Marina leggja mikið upp úr samstarfi við ungt fólk í bænum og hafa komið að mörgum skapandi verkefnum á Húsavík í gegnum tíðina. So this year we just did a, a project with the working with the Well Museum and also a local disabled group um, making like a large wooden whale sculpture and doing an installation of um, one of the one of the works of the users. Um, and then last summer as well, we did a, um, a project coming up with ideas for public spaces in Husavik, which ended up with this. It was called Lord of the Game of the Narnia Thrones Urban Gaming Tourist Fight Club Experience. <laughs> and they were like throwing skier at each other and running around playing games for the candy festival. Uh, so yeah, there's always, every year since we've been here, there's been like one or two projects with the, yeah, the school or disabled group or mm -hmm. museum. It's very colourful in here and there's a lot of uh, whale bones and stuff, but do you have like a, a main focus or are you just sort of open to everything? Marina's really focused on museums and sea life and so her work really revolves very centrally around that um, and with her working with the museum and with other museums as well. I'm kind of um, a bit broader maybe like uh, in my interests and I kind of change a lot between film and electronics and drawing and, uh, and print. Um, but I'm always interested in kind of very kitsch, bright colors and uh, kind of uh, lo-fi or kind of badly made stuff. And are you uh, affected a lot by the surroundings here, by Husavik and the people here? Yeah, of course. I mean, you can't not be. But it is when you first arrive in a place, it's amazing like how, you know, every time you look at the, the mountains and the bay, you're really kind of blown away. And sadly, of course, over three years, you do start to lose that awareness of, of, of your surroundings. But it still is fantastic. And, yeah. and what about the artists that come here? Are they, uh, do they always do like site specific stuff or is it optional? No, it's optional. We don't want to restrict them before, before when we invite them. Um, and some people really, really feed directly from the surroundings, but some people really don't and seem to be d were just working on a project that they already had in mind. And, and that's fine. We're really open to whatever 